I probably should have made this video a while ago. Oh well. What are you gonna do? A while back, I noticed a problem with my audio on the videos that I was exporting from DaVinci Resolve. Unfortunately, I can't really recreate that for you right now without making this video have the same problem. But if you go back to some of my older videos, you'll hear what I'm talking about. I'll actually link one down below. Basically what was happening, especially in the dialogue, there were these weird audio artifacts in the audio that was redundant. It almost sounded like there was really heavy noise reduction on there. You know that warbly sound you get when you overdo it on the noise reduction? That's what I was getting in the dialogue on my videos, even though I didn't have any noise reduction on there. Real quick, has anyone else had this problem? Let me know in the comments. So I did a bunch of research and apparently this is actually a common problem when your audio settings on the deliver page are set to AAC 16-bit which is the only option if you're exporting an MP4 video on a PC. For whatever reason, if you're on a PC, DaVinci Resolve doesn't give you the option to do AAC at 24 bit. Now, I don't know if it's the fact that it's 16 bit audio or the fact that it's AAC, but either way, one of those things is causing that god awful warbly sound, so we're just gonna change them both. It's actually pretty easy. In the deliver page, instead of exporting an MP4 H.264, you want to export as a QuickTime H.264. Then head over to Audio, change AAC to Linear PCM, and then change it from 16-bit to 24-bit, and that should do it. Now, this might cause a new problem. Some PCs have trouble playing QuickTime files. If that's you, then what you need to do is make sure that you're using the latest version of Windows Media Player to play your videos, because Windows Media Player actually supports QuickTime encoding now. If you don't want to do that, then you can try re-encoding in something like Wondershare Uniconverter or Handbrake, but honestly, Windows Media Player isn't that bad. Okay, I can't drag out this video any longer without filling it with a bunch of useless information, but if you do all that and your audio still sounds bad, then I'd suggest checking out this video right here, and for more tools, tips, and tricks that will make you a better video editor, make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that bell so you don't miss anything. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.